Greetings and welcome to Tell It To Someone, the only show where this new equipment makes it feel like Star Trek. And the first question is from Teledega Tom. Uh, how would Jesus stop a dog from humping its leg? Well, um, he, he's only got two weapons in his arsenal really. He can, he can uh, make water into wine and he can uh, get nailed to a tree. Now, um, the water into wine stuff, it's, it's, it's not going to repel dogs. Dogs are not neither attracted to or repelled by wine. So, he's going to have to get a, a really tall tree and um, he's going to have to uh, um, uh, fasten himself at, to somehow fasten himself to the tree and stay there for uh, oh, two to three days and then get himself... I, I don't know how he'd do that. Um, but... Uh, I'm studying the Easter jokes a little early this year. Maybe I'm being prompted by the fact that there's there's Easter eggs in the supermarket. It's barely that they haven't even got all the eggnog out of the refrigerator, and they've already got Easter eggs in there. I ate six. Next question is from uh, uh, just the uh, uh, verified floor I fall. Ah, oh, should I pronounce it right? Um, my sister is always telling me that uh, she has trouble staying fresh. I uh, the tele uh, the television advertisements have seen. Um, he uh, suggested she try a douche, uh, but now she's dating all these really self absorbed guys who treat her like crap. Um, how can I help her get out of this situation, especially considering I don't think I even have a sister? Well, see, you're, you've got a problem here. You have got her dating douche bags. You need both a douche bag and a douche nozzle for it to work. So I suggest your sisters try a threesome. Next is Chitholnius. Uh Would it be uh, cheating to throw hedgehogs during a dart smash? Yes, especially if they're wearing white, because because the the chocolate uh, in those chocolatey go to goodnesses that are uh, hedgehogs. I've already eaten too much chocolate. Um, the the chocolate um, you know stains their their pants and it looks like they've been farting, like you know wet farts. So if they're wearing white, don't do it because um, you'll get disqualified yourself for wasting chocolate. Rocket City Mass uh, noticed that uh, um, asks that uh, I noticed that it uh, appears to be nice and warm here in Australia. Uh, is it true that women glow and men plunder? Can you show us women glowing? And how about a man uh, plundering? I hope you don't glow. Well, no, I'm not pregnant. But hang on, hang on, wait a minute. I can't move while I'm doing this because I don't. I don't uh, know how to do face tracking probably. So just... Oh yeah. Oh. That feels weird. Okay, next one is um, from Mission Noir. Can a National Rifle Association member uh, jump the gun? Yes, they often do. They really, really love their guns and would um, and would jump jump them. Um, wherever most inappropriate and you know considering that um the the the, the width of the barrel is only this big um it just goes to show you that you know that they they you know that because it's that that's got to fit in, in in the barrel for them to um jump the gun so uh, that's why they love their guns though it's, uh, they feel inadequate when they're with a woman I'm gonna lose some scrubs now. Uh, California's uh, son asks uh, it has been uh, recently come to my attention that uh, Australia has been visited by a gigantic rubber duck 
Uh, what can you tell us about the existence of giant rubber ducks? Uh, should we fear them, or should, we, uh, should I be concerned about the possibility of meeting one here, where I live? Um, and if I should meet uh, one with one, um, uh, how best should I uh, proceed uh, for my own safety? Thank you for taking the time to uh, answer my question, and please be careful. Well, with the rubber duck invasion, it, it starts with, with, with lots of s small ducks, like, like, like little rubber ducks, and then you get the great big rubber ducks, and that is uh, when the uh, public relations company comes out with a press release um, telling you to um, I didn't read that far down in the article, so I don't know what the PR company was talking about. But, if you want, because it's a public relations stunt, all you have to do to keep away the rubber ducks in the rubber duck invasion is that you've got to pretend that the rubber duck is not there. Watch, watch, carefully. Don't look at the rubber duck. Look at something else. Go find some of the pornography and don't look at the rubber duck. There's lots of pornography somewhere. I'm not pointing where the pornography is, but there's, look, there's a rubber duck on the screen. Even during the uh, answers to love last week's dovetail questions, and um, the pornography is like, well, it's the internet, so it's full of pornography and cats. You can look at cats, but pornography, you know, is more distracting unless unless it's that one with the um, with, with the bikini-clad women that are f firing like M16s and stuff. That just makes me feel inadequate. And that's it for Tell It Someone for this week. If you would like to ask me a question, or even a video question, you can be like this guy and ask a video question. He's not asking a video question, he's just talking for some reason. I don't even know what he's saying because I turned the voice down. Hell, I don't even know who it is. I just grabbed it from, like, um, some old advertisement or something for something. And that was your dovetail question for this week. Um, I'm not even going to sign off because I don't have one. Yeah, yeah, well the, the joke last week, the, there was a joke after this last week. I don't have any more eggnog because, well, I, I, I was going to buy some, but I drank it. <laughs>